Hello, my name is Jonathan Ashmore. I'm a professor of biophysics here at University College London. And together with my co-authors, Jonathan Gale and Peter Serko, uh, we work at the UCL Ear Institute, which is just a short distance away from the main campus of UCL in Gower Street. The work we have described in this paper in the Journal of Physiology concerns the electrical and cellular activity that you find in the adult mouse cochlea, as distinct from the kind of activity that's found in the developing mouse cochlea. So Peter will now describe to you some of the findings that we have observed and, dis and, and that are, will be actually in this paper. So we found that spontaneous waves of cellular activity indicated by the peaks of calcium propagating along the length of the cochlea uh, are found in the adult mouse. Now these waves propagate for hundreds of cell diameters and propagate at a slower speed than similar waves which are found in the developing cochlea. Uh, this discovery was a surprise because it indicates that the mechanism of propagation of these waves in the adult cochlea is different from the mechanism which is present in the developing cochlea. Uh, the significance of this find is that it indicates that the cells in the adult cochlea uh, could possibly regulate gene transcription or have the mechanisms which can be which can regulate gene transcription. Um, although this is a long way in the future, harnessing these mechanisms might help us understand the how the cochlea could repair itself, or how cells in the cochlea can repair themselves, and thus potentially at some point help us uh, slow down the aging process. So thank you very much for looking to read this paper. It was published in the January the 1st issue of the Journal of Physiology and was the editor's pick for that particular issue. Thank you. Thank you.